Would you date a guy who was pro-life? Starting with you. Would I date one right now? Yeah. Okay. No. Yes. Probably not. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I mean, I think women should have the right to choose in certain mm. situations. Mainly based on essay. Sure. Okay. Take it away, Charlie. All right. For those of you that are pro-abortion, any one of you can chime in. And you can take a second. When does life begin? When you have consciousness. Okay. When is that? Um, it's, it's debated, but probably around 20 to 24 weeks. Maybe 18 to 24 weeks. So then would you say we should allow no more abortions after 18 weeks? It's a little tougher after that. I probably would agree that maybe you shouldn't. If you do, maybe, you know, I'll be more okay with it, but at the same time, I'd be a little weary about it. Okay. Anybody else have a thought on that? I don't care. Don't care? Okay. Uh, no opinion. Well, hold on, because some abortions late term are kind of crazy. You shouldn't I have agree. abortions super late mm -hmm. term. Right, which America has the craziest late term abortion uh, laws. Welcome to Canada. Well, Canada's <laughs> also out of control, too. Can Canada's any, any time in Canada. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anytime. That's, that's remarkable. What does any time mean? Any time in the womb? Up to gestation. Yeah, up yeah. to just, oh, wow. yeah, Full literally gestation, in Canada. Yeah. I think it's dependent on area. But abortion is also a medical term, so it's not necessarily that someone wants to get rid of it. it. It's also a medical abortion. I had someone in my life who six months in, they were super happy about their pregnancy and they had to have an abortion because fetus died inside of them. So right. yeah, that's a surgical removal, though. It's still considered an abortion. Is that right? Yeah, it's well, still considered an abortion. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's a in the U.S. Over too. Terms. Yeah, it's, it's still the same term. An abortion would be when you're thinking of abortion, you're thinking of aborting a, a live fetus that may be viable to live Correct. on, but an abortion can still be a fetus that is already dead that you have to abort because it will rot inside of you and kill you. That's the sensitive areas still in yeah. the U.S. No, even pro-life people are okay if the fetus is no longer living, removing yeah. the fetus. Well, that's yeah. what happened to this person that I knew. They had to have an abortion at six months because they're... Yeah, fetus. again, that's I wouldn't say that's an abortion, but I don't it's, want to... It that. technically is an abortion. Well, right. Like with Texas, for example, Texas law, right? You're like, allowed to remove a dead fetus. Uh, yeah, that's still an abortion at that point. It's still an abortion. You have to abort the fetus. Is it living? No, it doesn't have to be living for it to be an abortion. But we should call it what it is. If it's an abortion, it's an abortion. Uh, removing a fetus dead or alive from your body. I would say alive. We just yeah. disagree. I would say that ceasing the life. But even when it's dead, you have to abort it. You have to remove it. You can remove it without surgery, though. Well, not when it's six months old. Well, not six months, but at a month. What would you call it then? Well, you have to remove a six-month-old fetus. Is that not an abortion? No, because you're not actually aborting the mission. You have to abort the mission. The <laughs> no, fetus is the, dead. Remove it. So what? 500 years ago, how did that fetus leave? The, the mother, the fetus would rot inside the mother and the mother would die. Not all the time. The woman could also give birth but that to the dead. That rarely happens. That's why they call upon it to be removed because nine times out of ten, the mother will die from the fetus no, rotting I, I'm inside perfect. of her. I'm, do you think yeah. that if a baby can feel pain, regardless of consciousness... It's a, Hold on, I'm talking about a dead fetus at six no, months. No, no, I'm not disagreeing with that. You're dwelling on that No, okay, micro -issue, sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Hold on, I'm listening. Okay. But uh, going way back to like when mm -hmm. abortion should be illegal. So you say life begins at consciousness. Wait, sorry, when should abortion be illegal? At what time? I think all abortion should be illegal. But, but at what time? You said when at should... At beginning at conception. Okay, no. I'm trying to understand your position. Okay, sorry. So, so you say consciousness is when life begins. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then if somebody is without consciousness after a car accident and they're on yeah. life support, yes. they're no longer living. Unplug them. Take me Unplug out. them. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay, you're, you're that. consistent. So even the ones that come back to full consciousness when their brain waves are no longer detected, Too it doesn't late, matter. Too late, baby. Unplug. <laughs> I'm fine with that. No, I have no that's issue that's with that. <laughs> what do you mean? How is that crazy? It's, that's kind of... It's, a lot of people, isn't it? but also I see her point because so many people are kept alive by their family members who are grieving. But I thought they're not alive. No, no, no. So they're kept, Plugged their bodies in. are kept physically alive mm -hmm. by their families Good. that are grieving. And I'm talking about like for years oh. and years Sometimes. and families that I can afford it, right? Oh. And it's like, in the, I, that's why I see your point. But like, a, a, a physically developing fetus is not the same as a full grown hum, human sure, that's already for, alive. For sure. What species is the fetus? They're human, but they're still a fetus. So we, that's why we well, differentiate well, a fetus from a human. But what does fetus mean? Fetus is mean? a developing human. They're not quite human yet. But or embryo developed. So they become a human right when brain... When they develop mental consciousness. Which could be as early as six weeks, 12 yeah, weeks. We but I'll take your 18 weeks. Yeah, we don't know the exact date. We don't know the exact date. But if I told date. you, if we have data that shows six weeks, you'd be cool with cutting it off. 
Yeah, if, if we could see six weeks that you had mental consciousness that you could you could experience life and form memories, but at six weeks you can't. You just can't. You don't even do you even have a heartbeat at six weeks? No. Well, you do. Yeah, around six or Isn't seven. Isn't it? Weeks. Is it not ten weeks? It depends. I mean, it, it, we we sort of know. I mean, every baby's trajectory is different. It's between six to ten weeks. So yeah, but if a baby can feel pain and have a heartbeat, you're 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 okay with that. It, no, I don't care about a heartbeat at all. I don't care about a heartbeat in any capacity. Why? Because if I'm brain dead and I'm laying in a hospital bed and I have a heartbeat but my brain is dead, you're going to pull the plug. Do you, th- do you think that a human being is more than brain waves? No. It's all about oh, your okay. brain. No, see, this, we have a good disagreement here. I think a human being has a soul. Does anyone else think human beings no, have I souls? No, I believe you have a soul, but your soul connects to your brain. Oh, hold on. No. Yeah, I think so. Who else, who else thinks we have souls? Oh, I also believe we have a soul. Do so you think soul, soul, brain, and mind are all one thing, right? That's what you think. I think it all connects in some way. Got it. Sure. So. So, so I believe that soul happens as soon as creation happens. I agree with so that. So then if you are terminating a baby prior to brain waves, you're still terminating a soul. Your soul will go into another being. You'll get but, reincarnated well, into yeah, I, I don't believe that. What but is your soul you without a brain? To. That's a good question. So, I mean, let, let's, let's play this out. When you die, if we believe in a soul, then it transcends your brain waves. Yeah. So, so that means it's not in your brain then. It's outside of your brain. Your whole being is your soul. But you're not physically here, so what would be the difference between pulling the cord or not pulling the exactly. cord? Your soul would still exist. Well, no, for logic. sure. I, I, with that argument, we should just kill a lot of people and think nothing of it. Sure. Their souls will go where they well, need no, no, to no, go. No, no, I, I know. But what you're saying is that since somebody has a, some, some, a being has a soul, which is my argument, we don't have a right to pull the plug or to terminate that being regardless of as brainwaves or not, because the soul is there at the moment of creation. Well, have, the baby's not suffering at two weeks. Can I, can I ask sure. a question? How does this translate to, like, war? When you, oh, well, there's a lot of people... No, <laughs> wait, because... No, what? Me. She's she's it's a lot of live yeah, I like no, your popcorn. It's, it's, it's because it's can like... Can I have some? We can argue about abortion and things like that, and how it's wrong, but then some, a lot of, or some more right leaning are okay with war still and like sacrificing men's yeah. lives so how does that translate with no, the I mean, argument it's, it's a good question i mean i'm i'm totally against the ukraine russian war for example i think it should end i mean I, again i think all human beings are made of the image of god nothing should be trivialized but as far as like people being okay with war i mean you have to give me an example wait can i be charitable here would the perhaps a better argument from your position be why are these people also in favor of the death sentence is that sure, kind of sure, what that, that can be yeah. enough. Okay, yes. I mean, that's well, a good question because... Are you in favor of the death penalty? Yeah, sentence? the death penalty, absolutely. But, yes. okay, so you're in favor of the death penalty, but you're not in favor of abortion because you yes. think oh. infants are mm-hmm. innocent? Is that why? Well, or yes, so let's, take, let's, let's take an example, yeah, okay? okay? This last week, two illegal aliens in this country just kidnapped and raped a 12-year-old. Oh. Kidnap and rape a 12-year-old. Well, everyone has free will right. and the potential to, mm-hmm. but someone who just kidnapped and raped two 12-year-olds... They're in a complete different moral universe than a baby who is sitting patiently in well, a womb. It's also, it's the argument, like, I, I totally understand that uh, uh, fetuses are innocent, but it's the same argument that, like, you know, if it, if it's the, what is it, the violinist. I talked about this before, the first time I was on the I've, violinist I've been through argument. this so many times. I yes. know you've been through this, but I'll, I'll still run it through. The violinist argument where you're hooked up, you wake up and you're hooked up to the most famous violinist and they're hooked up to you and you have to sit there for nine months bedridden to take care of but them. But in order for that metaphor to be true, did you know the night before that you had a chance to potentially be hooked up to a viol- violinist if you had a bunch of pleasure? Because even, you agreed to on. have sex before all of a sudden but the violinist even showed at, up even in your room. Even at that, that point, accidents happen. Like, it's also like you could just leave your front door open by accident. Now someone's sitting in your house for hold, eight hold months, on a second. nine so, months. But having sex is a choice. Less than 1% of all abortions are rape incest. But having sex is a choice. Choices come with a cost. you to be pregnant when you have sex. Well, yeah. you have a choice to have sex in the first place. Yes, but you don't choose to be pregnant. Sex doesn't always lead to pregnancy. Women are only fertile for five days of the month. Right, so why do you need to have sex? Feels good. So we should just do what feels good regardless of the choices yes, or consequences? Yes, people do that all the time. But people just because people... Is that right? People like feeling good. People like no, no, doing no, but, things should, that give them dopamine no, and we're serotonin. Get, we're getting somewhere, right. So should what feels good be prioritized over what is good? Sometimes it depends exactly on what it is. Okay, so if I can have pleasure and a sure. bunch of people die, that's perfectly fine. I said it depends on what it is. If people are dying... Okay, so again, back to the point is that you don't... People. Outside of rape or those very, very fringe cases, 99% of the time, you don't just wake up and you're magically pregnant. 
No, no, you know that you had sex and you're Bingo. like, oh shit. So hold on a second. So why do you then get to have the orgasm without the responsibility? Hold on, because you don't get to have the orgasm. You just wake up pregnant. If the woman chooses to keep the baby, the <laughs> man has to pay child support. I don't Secondly, agree with that. well, it's the law. But yeah, Secondly, well, the hold law on. they made might that choice. Stupid sometimes. Both parties made the choice, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. Do you think that men should be able to have a say before a woman has an abortion? Did both parties to, have to agree? I think so. so. I, think I, don't, so. I, don't, I don't think you should be able to force women into abortion, just like you shouldn't be able to force women out of an abortion. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't, no way, each way or the other. No way. You can't tell someone to do with their body. Hold on, but is it their body, or is it that another body is within their body? But if someone broke into my house, I would put a gun to their head and say, get the fuck out or die. But wait, hold on. You invited the baby into the house with somebody. No, no, I, game. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't invite the baby. I left the door unlocked by accident. Can somebody push my <laughs> yeah. But wait, it, that baby is within you. And, and it's oh, still my body within me, my body. So is it your DNA? It doesn't matter if it's my. Why do you have control over somebody else's DNA? They're in me. If they want, it's they a location issue. Earlier. Super interesting. So location matters more than being. Just because somebody happens to be if within was, a womb. If it was my baby in Hawaii, take them out. However, it's, it's, it's not, if, if it's your DNA, you have total choice of your DNA. To take a vaccine or not a vaccine. To be able to eat coke, drink coke, or drink Sprite. If they're in my body and they're Hold affecting on. my life, I'll do what I want with them. No, it's not about necessarily location. It's about how they affect me. For for nine months. After you chose to it's be able to get in that nine, circumstance. It's not even just nine months. It's after the fact, too. You have postpartum depression. No. So your argument is you should do what is expedient, even if there is a victim and there might be a casualty. They wouldn't even know they're a victim. Okay, that's interesting. If, <laughs> is it okay to murder if the person does not know they were murdered? Sure. Why not? They won't even know. They have so it's no... okay to go to an old person's home, a bunch of people with dementia, no, and no. just start popping rounds? Sure. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. You just killed your argument. No, I know. I'm not even. So we can go to old people's homes, dementia, Alzheimer's. They're drained on society. They don't know who they are. They don't know their name. They don't know their relatives. By the way, millions be able to dementia and Alzheimer's, and we just kill them because. Hold on. Oh no, you said you should be able to. Oh my god. But it's not necessarily like if if they're never gonna know, they're never gonna know. Okay, so murdering dementia patients is consistent. You're right. You are being consistent. I I I think there is a little bit of inconsistency because like after you're dead, you're dead in a lot of cases in a lot of religions, right? So a like this is even no, they're not. Yeah, even but like on, but, if you live on the street, someone goes and shoots you. They're not you, even like, you, to you be won't dead. know. You so yeah. but hold on. The idea is the question is this: is just because something is not born, are they alive and do they have value? I don't think so. Okay. So let's go through it. Is it because the fetus or baby is small? They don't have consciousness. Hold on. I want to try to. Is, sure. you, uh, is it because they're small? Yeah, that's not your argument. Location. That's your argument. No, no. Environment, or but you said degree of dependency. That's the one. You said it, you said environment. I don't agree with the environment. Well, well meaning where the, 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 the. I'm going through the acronym of what most pro-abortion arguments are: size, level development, environment, degree of dependency. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to find sure. which one sure. your prior because yeah. every pro-abortion argument falls into one of four. Arguments. So degree of dependency. Mm-hmm. This baby is going to take from me. Mm-hmm. Are you glad your mom nurtured you for nine months in the womb? I mean, she, not really, to be honest. So you, so you wish you wouldn't have been born? I'm chill with that, for sure. Oh. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Okay, you're consistent. I am. Yeah, so, so, you, so if you were just to be killed tomorrow, not a big deal. I think that this is important because 40 years ago, an average woman would not have answered it that way. They would have said, my life is beautiful, my life has meaning, my life has purpose, and I'm glad my mom sacrificed for me. I think that's the case for every single woman 40 years ago. Well, the vast majority of women 40 years ago were not as depressed, not as suicidal. No, I think the vast on. majority is still the same way. She's, yeah, inconsistent. The, I'm the, con- the, the most so do, you, do, do you think that she is the mainstream opinion, or do you think she's a fringe opinion? No, she's a fringe opinion, okay, fair for enough. sure. I like okay. Good. okay. So, Completely. I mean, do you think she's a mainstream opinion or fringe I opinion? Think it's pretty fringe. Okay. I'm fine with that. That doesn't okay. bother me at all. Does anyone else have opinions on this matter? If, if I were to say that abortion was illegal in America tomorrow, that would be worrisome to you guys? Yeah. I think Tell me why. When we say pro-abortion, I don't think that that's necessarily accurate for how I feel. I think I'm pro-choice because people are probably going to get abortions anyways. I would prefer them be safe. It's not something I would necessarily do for myself, but I do think if it's going to be happening, which it is, it should be safe and it should be something that everyone talks about and everyone's educated on beforehand. So in Texas, they just outlawed abortion. Abortion rates have gone down dramatically. So it's not totally true. It's half true. They're going to other states to get them. But the birth rate's gone up. So it's like this idea that people are going to find them otherwise. Sometimes they just have the baby instead. Are you more concerned with the birth rate going up? or, or Well, 
all of it, I, the morality of it's the number one issue, which we do not have a moral obligation to terminate human beings smaller than us. So I have a question sure. for you. So if it was scientifically proven, yes. like 100%, without a doubt, that you don't have a consciousness, you don't feel pain until the day you come out the womb, you're fine with any and all types of abortions no, all of a sudden? No, no, consciousness is not, that's her argument. My argument is that at the point of your DNA's creation, a new soul is entering the world. And the soul transcends reason. So you're saying soul and consciousness aren't no, related? No, not at all. Okay. I, we know that, at least in the religious realm, because when your consciousness ceases, your soul lives. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it goes to an afterlife. Okay. I in, think you're... in a religious context. I'm not going to win you over on a no. modern okay, context on that. Okay, I'll keep my mouth shut. Sorry. No, but uh, let me try to win you over. Because there are points when you, we all see beauty, when our reason or our consciousness is not able to describe them. That sunset was so beautiful. It was breathtaking. At, at times, there are things that hit us on a soul level. We all know this. When we hear a certain song, mm -hmm. see a certain painting, experience natural beauty that touch us on a level that cannot always be described using our reasonable faculties. And I know we all have had those. When you go to Yosemite, when you see a sunset in Santa Barbara, all of a sudden, you're like, wow, that touches me on a level that is eternal and beautiful and is divine. My argument is that every being at the time of creation, which is when the sperm and egg meet, when the deoxyribonucleic acid is formed, that being has a soul. And if you don't make the soul argument, then you make the consciousness argument. Because it's just, we're all, I think our being is more than just a bunch of brain cells. Well, no, I think we have souls as well, along with the when consciousness. When does the soul enter the being? When you are created. Got it. So is I would it a, say so. No, so I mean, you're indifferent towards allowing a soul to be dismissed without... Because they'll move on, because I fully believe a soul will move on to another Got being. Got it. So that, that's interesting. So mm -hmm. what was wrong with Auschwitz? I mean, that was just horrible. Why? Why? That's an insane the, question. So the Jewish People, souls were going to another place. What's wrong no, with No, no, no. Because they were being tortured. No, no. It wasn't, though. Let's not play stupid okay, here. Okay, let's just... Well, a lot of deaths were at uh, incidents to execution. They, they were starved. Fine. Well, some were, but let me rephrase it then. Some. Well, yes. So, some Jews were immediately killed when they got off of the rail cars. No, yes. they were so, tortured. They were, well, so, they were tearing away from their families. Let me ask you a different question, though. Let's, if, if the death was seamless and without pain no. and immediate, okay, can, is can that okay? Can you just pull away from the Auschwitz argument? Because that is insane to well, compare no, you, that you to. Just, you just said that the soul goes to another place, and that's fine. Yes, but it's not about the soul. It's also about, oh, it's the, about the living the being. Oh, so it's about the form of death. No, it's about the living being what they experience, but I don't fully believe that fetus is experiencing a, a living life until they have consciousness, and they, I don't believe that they do until, what, 22 weeks? When you have if, a 14-week abortion at Planned Parenthood in Southern California... They offer for an additional fee pain medication for the fetus. So there, the data uh, assumes, nobody can ask them, but the data assumes that at 14 weeks, which is legal, California's 20 weeks, right? At 14, the data shows that the fetus can feel pain yes. and struggle, so they offer for an additional fee. You can either get pain medication for your fetus as you aborted her. You can get okay, a pizza. So or a it's pizza? Up. It's about That's 40 right. bucks I mean, extra to get pain we, medication for your fetus. But women also have to like, get an IUD with no pain medication. Sure. Like, Terrible, too. The, the, the medical industry d derived towards women is not fair. So if there were less abortions in America, would that be a good thing? Yes. Of course. The question Probably. is how... Birth control. Education. Yeah, so education and the education. The more birth control we've had in the West, the more abortions we have.